Well, hey there. Welcome to the Paul Paul Chronicles and more with Jim. Well, I have a root trapper bag, and one would think that I have a community pot of pawpaws here. I don't. This is something that I had talked about uh, time and time again. I've done an awful lot of transplanting as far as seedlings and taking care of the trees that are on the property. And some things tend to get away from me. I've talked about this before. Give me a moment. There's something else I want to grab. I'm going to need this blade. I'll explain that in a minute. What I have here in this pot is a grafted seedling. And what had happened was it got away from me and it that seedling shot up an awful lot of root suckers. It's coming up all over inside the pot. And this is where I had made a comment in the past that don't just graft and walk away and forget about it. Let's get rid of some of this stuff that's in here. I cannot believe that it did this. But it did, nonetheless. And what I'm doing is, is getting rid of all these root suckers. Root suckers within the pot. I am looking and I'm thinking, holy cow, a few weeds coming up in there. We'll get them cleaned out. What I would call yellow clover. And then we're going to go over here. Snip, snip. And we got one here below the graph. Now, let me go ahead and pull what weeds I see in here. Just starting to come up. And we want to get rid of that garbage because it'll become a nuisance later on. This right here was a seedling uh, that I had tried to graft, I want to say two years ago, and the graft didn't take. And instead of discarding the seedling, I left it alone and it shot out of growth. And then this year, I went ahead and grafted into it, and what I grafted into it is a Hoblin Sidewinder, the 5th of May this year. We still have the rubber band on here, and we're going to take that rubber band off. Try to get rid of it. And get the parafilm out of the way. Let's see what we got going on here.
I couldn't even tell you what style of grafting I did on this until I look at it. I grafted so many of them. And what I want to do is to take a look. Modified bark graft. I can see it, the flap right there. And we got some uh, good callus going on there. And we have a little bit of growth. And what was happening, <coughs> all that growth coming from the rootstock was trying to overcome it. And we have a slight bit of a bud that pushed right here. And the terminal on it is still green. Take a closer look. And it looks like it's willing to grow. A little bit of parafilm hanging on to it right there. And we're going to release it. <coughs> and I've talked about that before. Don't just graft it and walk away. You can see where I had cut it off right here. And the shoot that grew up, I grafted into. The caliper of it is not really uh, anything exciting, but we still have a push the bud here and a small push right here. And we're going to leave it inside this bag. I'm not going to try to transplant it. The zip ties along the edge of the bag was tearing, so I wrapped duct tape around it to hold everything together. <coughs> try to keep it from falling apart <coughs> and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to slide this into the greenhouse and it's got some good moisture inside of there what I might do is break the soil up a little bit on the top a little bit of moss get rid of that have a look see That graft is struggling, but we're going to see what we can do to help it get rid of that struggling. That's pretty well compacted on the top. And I'm going to go down a little further here. We're going to take a look with the root sucker scenario. This is the side that had the most of them. And that's come from way down deep. I can smell that root system down in there. And what I'm gonna do is, while I got that opened up, what's coming from way down deep, we'll cut it off. I'm right at the lateral root. Get cut off because That'll keep trying to come back, and then we'll see what happens. But just something I wanted to show you. And, you know, I've said this before. Don't graft it, walk away, and forget about it. Take care of it. And apparently this in here got away from me because I've been so busy transplanting uh, seedlings. I've transplanted, oh, 1,100 to 1,200 seedlings into fresh pots. And they've been transplanted into nursery pots. Getting ready to take this hose out here to the uh, greenhouse, uh, get some watering done. I didn't water yesterday. It was pretty cloudy. But I think maybe I need to get out there and take care of some business and see what I can do with what it is that I'm doing. And we're going to get right down into that one there, just like I did the others. That was a singular one. 
and we're going to say hello to it down at the lateral root. Well, right here, let me show you. I have a big node right here that's going off to the right uh, of the seedling, and that's part of the root system. And a lateral root came out to the side of it, and that's where this one particular root sucker came from. What I'm going to do is, is take it off. This right here was the root sucker. And right here is a lateral root that came out from the larger root structure down in the bottom. Or not down in the bottom, but uh, probably a couple inches uh, below grade. And it pushed uh, a root sucker out of the ground there. And that just goes to show you these trees, they can get away from you. Root suckers will come up around them. And one of the things I shared with the uh, Pawpaw Chronicles Facebook group is I see more root suckers coming from the seedling, the grafted seedling in the yard versus the grafted uh, root sucker. And once again, this is a seedling that I grafted into. And you've seen all the little root suckers that came up around it. And my only uh, explanation to that would be is when you cut the root sucker loose, the root sucker is living on a lateral root like these were. And when you cut that root sucker loose from the parent tree, the growth from there, as far as that root system stops. And then later on, when you go back and you try to dig it up, you come around the opposite side of it and you're digging around it. The lateral root system that would have been underneath that root sucker continuing to go out, <coughs> you've cut it off. But while you were waiting for it to, to see if it lived or not, it was growing roots downwards. And those, and those roots that grow downwards, they'll put out the lateral roots, but the lateral roots are much deeper in the soil. And that's the only explanation I can think of as far as root suckers around grafted trees. And we're talking grafted uh, seedlings and grafted root suckers transplanted root suckers in other words and then grafted so I hope this is helpful uh, uh, for you it's an assumption that I have made whether it's right or wrong I'm not going to tell you everything I say is right I'm just making an observation of, what, of that of which I see I'll put this down or put this up rather and put everything away and get that greenhouse watered. Anyways, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Don't forget to click on that bell for any notifications. Y'all have a God-blessed day.